in this day and time, it's very sad to see how people have taken the great values of some things. As I look to the situation that exists in our society today and see how young people are leaving the colleges, my mind went back to a lady who had struggled to send her son to school. She had a full-time job and she took on part-time work so that the boy could be the benefactor of some of the things she didn't have and that was an education. And after he graduated from high school, it was a joyous day in her heart to know that her labor was not in vain. And as he left home going to college, in your mind I want you to picture him in his Moya suit, shine shoes and a fine haircut, clean shave, as she was a religious mother. And she told him, son, don't forget the struggles that I had to get you where you are. And when he first got to the university, each letter he would write back to his mother, he would say, mommy, it's another day. The Lord has kept me and I'm so glad. But as time went on, he seemingly forgot about God and he said less and less in his letters about the Lord Jesus Christ. And eventually he said absolutely nothing about him and his mother became very concerned. And one day she got a letter that told her her son was coming home. And she was glad because she wanted to sit down and look him in the eyes and talk to him. And sure enough at the schedule time he did arrive and when he got home she was shocked. He didn't have that mohair suit on, he had dongarees on. His shoes weren't shine like they were when he left. As a matter of fact, he didn't have shoes on, he had sandals on. That fine haircut, it just went all out of perspective. And in place of that, his head looked wild, his face wasn't clean shaved, and there was a bear there. And she just didn't recognize her son, and she sat down and began to talk with him. And as she talked to him, she said, son, what is it has overcome you and you are just looking different and acting different and you didn't even write about God's goodness. The boy said, mama, let me tell you something. He said, you know, I went to school and I've become so scientific minded now until I just can't believe in this God business. He said, tell me something, mama. Can you touch God like you touch me? With tears in her eyes, she said, no, son. He said, Mama, can you see God like you're looking at me? She said, no, son. He said, well, Mama, when you prove to me that there is a God, then I'll take the bed off, cut the air, and go back to that Moya super fine shoes. The mother got up and went to bed, and he went to bed. But before she got in bed, she got on her knees and had a talk with that man who helped her on the job to send the boy to college. And early in the morning, she heard him cry out with a pain of agony. And like any good mother would do, she jumped up and ran in his room and kneeled beside his bed and said, Son, what's wrong with you? He said, Mama, oh, Ma, it hurts so bad. She said, What, son? He said, I've got a toothache and the pain is moving all up and down my face. Right quick, God spoke to that good mother and she asked the boy a question. She said, son, can you see your toothache? He said, no, mama. She said, can you reach out and touch the pain? He said, no, mama. She said, but how do you know that it's there? He said, because I feel it moving up and down my face. She said, earlier this evening you asked me about God. I told you I couldn't see him and I told you that I couldn't touch him. She said, but I know that God is there the same way you know that toothache is there because every now and then I feel him moving on the altar of my heart. And for those of you today who have labored, worked and toiled for your children, do the best you know how, don't give up. If they don't turn out to be just what you want them to be, keep pushing it into their head that God is, that he's still on the throne, that he sits high and looks low. You just look around you and you'll see signs and wonders in the land that proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that God is still moving. I know that he's moving because he's done so much in my life. That's why the choir can blend their voices together and tell you this in song today. If you never hear it song no more, remember this like that good mother said to her son when she looked at him with compassion and said, spirits where is he moving just look around you and you will see in his moving and he brings out like you want to 
Call, you ought to ask him to do this.